getting to come here and talk to you yeah, and man. talk to family, um, you know, makes me feel more like he's a part of it all. Yeah. You know, for, for years... Cry reveal. Cry reveal. <laughs> Famous Minecrafter YouTuber Technoblade has passed away in June 2022 at the ripe age of just 23. While the sad news hit the Minecraft community hard, Technoblade made sure not to leave without saying goodbye to his friends and loyal fans. In a video titled, so long nerds, posted on the 30th of June 2022, Technoblade's father announced his passing after a long battle with cancer and also reading a script that the YouTuber had left for his viewers. Hello everyone, Technoblade here. If you're watching this, I am dead. So let's sit down and have one final chat. That's how the script Technoblade wrote just eight hours before his death starts. Today, let's take a look at his life, his accomplishments, and his influence over the Minecraft community. While Technoblade might be gone, he left behind a legacy that will be impossible to ignore. By his real name Alexander, or for short, Alex, Technoblade was born on June 1st, 1999, and lived in San Francisco, California. He lived in California for most of the beginning of his YouTube career up until 2018 when, after a gap year, he moved to Chicago to go to college. He studied English as his major, but after just one year, he dropped out and moved back to California. He lived with his father up until his death, stating in a Q&A in 2016 that his parents were divorced. While Technoblade never really did a face reveal, his subscribers were able to get a glimpse at the man behind the channel in his 100 subscriber special video, in the Cooking with Technoblade video, and at the end of his playing Minecraft hardcore with a steering wheel stream. So, while he wasn't camera shy, he wasn't keen to put himself at the forefront either, but rather preferred to keep his gameplay at the front and center of his videos. Before creating his main YouTube channel, Technoblade had another channel called Studio Lore, in which he used to post irregularly low quality Team Fortress 2 videos and one Roblox video. The channel only accumulated about 50 subscribers. Technoblade was around 10 years old when he started posting videos on Studio Lore channel. Surprisingly though, Technoblade's first Minecraft content was posted on another channel, Derp Squad, which seems to have have been created specifically for collaborations with his brother, but was abandoned when Technoblade channel was made. He has first registered and began uploading on what became his main YouTube channel on the 28th of October 2013. He made the majority of his videos on the Minecraft server Hypixel, and would upload sometimes weekly, sometimes monthly, and at one point even tried, but failed, to do daily uploads. In a video posted in 2017, Technoblade achieved an amazing feat of beating Minecraft on hardcore mode using just a steering wheel as a controller. But his popularity would increase in 2019, after multiple wins in Keemstar's Minecraft Monday tournaments. From there on, Technoblade would go on to participate in other tournaments, such as the Minecraft Championship MCC, and win them. And according to Kale Michael of Dot Esports, Technoblade was regarded as one of the best Minecraft content creators on the entire YouTube site, especially in PvP events. Soon enough, Technoblade would start live streaming on YouTube while playing Minecraft on other servers too, not just Hypixel. In 2020, he even became a member of the Dream SMP Minecraft server hosted by YouTuber Dream. We did a video about Dream previously, so be sure to check that one out too. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. Dream's server featured numerous popular Minecraft YouTubers, so for Technoblade to become a member was a huge step ahead in his career as a content creator. But have you ever wondered what drove Technoblade into making sure his channel would be successful? Well, in a video in 2017 titled The Quest for the Pig Rank, he explained that he created Technoblade in order to gain confidence, but also 10 million subscribers. Why that many followers? When Technoblade met someone with a tree colored rank, he quickly decided that he needed to get an even cooler rank, so he came up with the idea for Pig Rank. While others would feel discouraged seeing such a large number, this only further motivated Technoblade to try harder and build his YouTube career. However, he wouldn't need to get the 10 million subscribers after all in order to receive his Pig, Pig Plus, Pig Plus Plus, and Pig Plus 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 ranks. As during one of his Minecraft Monday streams, Hypixel said that he would get those ranks if he won the tournament, which he did. Following that victory, every time Technoblade won an event, another plus sign will be added to his rank. As always, you can't have internet popularity without some form of controversy, and Technoblade did not manage to avoid it. In early 2021, Twitter users found a tweet from 2017 in which Technoblade said, was Hitler a lesbian? The context for the tweet was that Adolf Hitler, throughout history, had a proven track record of treating lesbians less harshly than other LGBTQ plus community members. After that tweet resurfaced, Technoblade went silent on all forms of social media for the next few weeks. He even made a large chunk of his older videos that had content of this nature private. Later on, an unknown user published a thread exposing as supposedly being racist and homophobic. That tweet blew up, gaining over 400,000 likes, with many people
people saying that they would stop watching those channels. Despite this claim and other claims of this nature, Technoblaze's channel seemed unaffected, and he continued to grow his subscriber number at a steady rate. But in 2021, Technoblade would come forward and let his viewers know that he was diagnosed with cancer. It all started when he noticed pain in his right arm and a bump on his shoulder in an early August 2021 video. Luckily, the cancer was detected early by doctors and Technoblade started chemotherapy straight away. In his August 27, 2021 video titled, Where I've Been, he doesn't just speak about his cancer diagnosis, but also urges his viewers to get vaccinated against COVID-19 and take necessary precautions since he was now immunocompromised and at a higher risk. Following his announcement, the hashtag TechnoSupport started trending on Twitter and other social media for a few days. After chemotherapy, he would undergo limb salvage surgery on December 23rd, 2021, in which part of his bones and muscles in his arm would be removed in order to remove the tumor. The surgery went well, despite Technoblade being in immense pain for the following week. They did have to take a few muscles out of his leg, rendering it inanimate, but the muscle was used to replace the muscle in the shoulder. He also had to take out his right clavicle, leaving him with 205 bones, which he joked advanced him beyond mortal levels. He also joked that his upper body strength was streamrollered, so he would have to cancel the unannounced boxing match with Floyd Mayweather Jr. For a while, things seemed okay in Technoblade's camp. The Minecrafters vs. Cancer fundraising event was held in February 2022, and multiple creators joined in. YouTuber Dream also donated $21,409 to Cancer Research as a response to Technoblade's announcement. But on June 30th, 2022, a video was uploaded on Technoblade's channel titled So Long Nerds. In this video, his father announces his death and reads a short script that Technoblade wrote about 8 hours before his passing, together with a slideshow of a few pictures of him. Here's the script that Technoblade left for his subscribers. Hello everyone, Technoblade here. If you're watching this, I'm dead. So let's sit down and have one final chat. My real name is Alex. I had one of my, my siblings, siblings call me Dave, Dave one time in a deleted video from 2016, and it was one of the most successful pranks we've ever done. Thousands of creepy online dudes trying to get overly personal going, oh hey Dave, how's it going? Sorry, Sorry for, for selling out so much in the past year, but thanks to everyone that bought hoodies, plushies, and channel memberships. My siblings are going to college. Well, if they want to. I don't want to put any dead brother peer pressure on them. That's all from me. Thank you all for supporting my content over the years. If I had another, another 100, 100 lives, lives, I think I would choose to be Technoblade again every single time, as those were the happiest years of my life. I hope you guys enjoyed my content and that I made some of you laugh, and I hope you all go on to live long, prosperous, and happy lives. Because I love you guys. Technoblade out. Just shortly after his death was publicly announced, Dream and other members of the Dream SMP server went on to express their condolences, support, and admiration of him online. They were joined by co-founder of Hypixel, Simon Collins Leflem, Elon Musk, and many more. Minecraft also sent their condolences to Technoblade's family and also added a tribute to the YouTuber by adding a crown to the pig in the Minecraft Java Edition launcher. They later on added a splash text in tribute to Technoblade with the text reading, Technoblade never dies, on both Bedrock and Java editions. While Technoblade reached 10 million subscribers on December 1st, 2021, after his death, his channel reached 15 million subscribers. His videos stay online to remind us all of his accomplishments in Minecraft and beyond the game. Technoblade's family said that they will donate a portion of the proceeds from his online merchandise orders to the Sarcoma Foundation of America, according to his website. And thank you for watching this video, celebrating his life, his career, and his accomplishments. We are forever grateful for the time Technoblade gave to his fans and the Minecraft community. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell icon so you get notified every time we post a new video. Or, we will patch you. Rest in peace, Technoblade.